Okie dokie. Here's a corner right here. I'm going to show you. It's a bull nose corner. It's a little corner that is rounded on the edge. It's not pointed and it's called a bull nose corner. This one here is a plastic one. Get it on the wall, cut it, and I'll show you how I cut it. Make sure that it fits though from the top to the bottom and it has a little bit of space. And I'm using these 10 snips. Real easy. And now that we have that measured and cut, all I'm going to do now is get my mud pan. And it's, it's just a metal mud pan, metal mud knife. And you can see all I'm going to be doing is this right here putting some mud on there and then putting it on the corner and dragging it over just a little ways like this. It's not on there real light. If it is like it was right here, I'm adding a little bit. I think I need to add a little bit right here too. You want it on there pretty good. Okay, now that that's on there and it's evenly spread on there thick, I'm gonna keep doing that from this point to the ceiling and from this point to the floor. And I'll be right back. I have this piece cut and it's measured and I have the mud applied evenly and thickly on this corner from the top to the bottom and this piece has a little bit of space this corner and press it lightly. Now, come in close. We applied the mud onto the wall and then I stuck this on there. It was oozing out in some places, a couple of places it wasn't. So then now as it's still wet and we've applied pressure, I put more mud, drug it through and smashed it inside those holes that it wasn't coming out of. Evened it all out, out to here, out to about right here, like this and like this. Okay, <clears throat> that easy. Let it dry overnight. Come back to it, do this process again the next day, and you can see it is still wet up here. It's still not dry. I'm going to let it dry a whole other day before I mess with it. I hair dried it a little bit, and it helped a little bit down here, but it just really needs to dry again for a whole other day. You can see, even after drying it, it's coming through again, the moisture. So, I would let this dry another day, and that's what I'm going to do. In the meantime, I went over... The other side, this is the worst part right here, and I have not sanded this either. I will show you what this looks like as soon as I put a... This is the part where it was the worst, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. Now you can see that and I'll, I'll hair dry all this today and I'm going to get this done today. It's looking much better now. You can see that rounded corner. 
and this is all looking much smoother. Uh, it's dry now and I'm about to sand and up here I have not done from here up and you can see the difference how that's still wet. It's got gouges in it, notches out of it like that one, waves, dips, a bunch of stuff like that. And then from here down, a third coat looks much better. There it is, the final result that we've been waiting for for four days. <laughs> if this video was helpful in any way, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you like home improvement videos. I'm about to do my time-lapse video on this 